Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did what I thought was going to be my last test on Mato Nupai's Mahalo stove. This is a uh, side burner alcohol stove that he sent me to play with and test. I hope he's not sorry for doing so. But uh, it was my last test that I tried with this where I used three quarters of a fluid ounce of methanol, 25 milliliters. In this, with one milliliter of methanol in a primer pan, uh, I ran it to boiling, got that time, and then ran it to see how long this would burn, which it burned uh, a substantial amount of time with uh, three quarters of a fluid ounce. I mean, that's pretty good for a little stove, and it got water to a boil. But I've had a number of people ask me if I would do the test again using the same amounts, but this time... When it gets to boil, to snuff it out and then weigh the fuel and see how much it actually did burn, how much methanol was actually burned, meaning how much is still left over. So as one last test, I thought I'd try that today. So what I'll do is uh, I'll measure out some methanol using weights. In this case, I'm using a table that I got on the Internet. This is what I've always used for uh, figuring out how much methanol weighs. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, in this table, it says one milliliter of methanol weighs 0 0.79 grams. So therefore, 25 milliliters on top of that would weigh 19.75 grams. The scale that I have only goes to one decimal point. So the 19.75, I'm going to round up to 19.8 grams. Sorry, that's about all the closer I can get it with my gear. And then I have one milliliter by weight, 0.7 or 0.8 uh, grams of alcohol in this. So let me get the alcohol prepped, get some water prepped, and I'll be right back for the test. Okay, so I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I've got 25 milliliters of methanol in the stove, 25 milliliters by weight one milliliter of methanol in the primer pan. Let's try lighting it. Okay, there it's lit. There goes the timer. Okay, so primer pans aren't something that I normally do. Most of mine is with the Trangia and that has maybe what you might call a built-in primer pan. But uh, I hope that that didn't mean that I don't like them. I mean, in some stoves and stuff, they're a necessity, and that doesn't necessarily make them bad. Okay, so there goes the flames. So let's see how long it takes this to get to boiling, and then I'll snuff it out right away and take a weight measurement of what alcohol is left. So let's see where it goes. There we have 210. Oops, 210. To 11, come on, to 12 and 8.30, okay, so let me snuff this out, okay, so what I'll do now is let this cool off, and I'll measure how much alcohol is still left in here, and I'll be right back with the results. Okay, I've got my numbers here. Taking the weight of the stove and the alcohol at the beginning, subtracting the weight of the stove and the alcohol at the end, leaves me with 6.5 grams of methanol left over. 6.5 grams divided by 0 0.79 grams tells me that there's about 8.2 milliliters of methanol left in this. Now this is by weight. Uh, that's about 32 percent saved. Now if I was, this is again by weight. I left the alcohol, alcohol in here and took weight. If you pour it out, which is something that you can do with this, you got to be careful that you can get messy with this, but just by pouring it out, I'll get a weight also or a volume rather, but I probably won't get as much 
as what I'm getting by weight because there'll still be some methanol stuck to the sides of this. So looking at this, yes, it's a bit less than 10, the 10 milliliter mark on the side of this shot glass. I don't know if you can see that. Oops, now I'm not holding it steady, but it's a little less than 10 milliliters. So 8.2 milliliters, yeah, it's going to get to be about that. So this is what we've saved. Um, so that's saying that's what we saved. So I hope that helps those that asked for this. 32% uh, left over of the methanol. Now what I would do with this, with this is I wouldn't pour this back into my bottle, my supply bottle, but rather I would pour this into, uh, I like to use uh, eye drop bottles, pour this into that and use this for the primer. So again, like I said, I hope that helps those that asked for this. I thank Mato Nupai for letting me play around with this stove. I'm sure he won't make that mistake again. But I thank him. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.